What's up guys, it's Seth from Forever to Elin. Today we're gonna to be focused on dialing in my riding position. Uh, all the modifications I did over the course of the uh, previous year was to uh, dial in my riding position. So putting the mids on, uh, getting the risers and bars set up just right, getting the seat just right. Uh, but I find I'm leading forward just a little bit uh, more than I'd like to. I'd like my back to be straight. I'd like my legs to be bent in a 90 degree angle and ideally I'd like to have my arms out just below my shoulders. That's what we're going to work on today. So here's my current riding setup. So I got the Wolf One Triple Trees, I got the Krauss Raptor pullback which is an inch and a half pullback. Then I got the OG risers with an inch and a half pullback with the ODI bars. So it's working out super good. Uh, it's very comfy, but I find whenever I'm sitting down on the seat, I want my back straight, but I'm leaning forward just a tad. So I'm going to bring the whole uh, handlebar assembly back to me a little bit. And the way I'm going to do that is with the following part. So here's the Krauss T-Rex pullback plate for touring or bagger. So this is going to give me a full two and a half inch pullback as opposed to the inch and a half pullback I currently have on this guy. So let's take some shit apart. Just a rundown of where we're at. We just took the bars off. We took the whole top triple clamp off, connected to the T-Rex plate and the risers. Uh, just kind of rigged my bars on here, took my master cylinder off and kind of squared it up, uh, put it level just so I don't get any uh, leaks while it's upside down. I uh, cleaned up the, uh, took the schmutz off of the fork tubes with some chrome cleaner. And uh, now we'll have a look at the uh, whole clamp situation. So a little bit of a bummer here is that I'm going to lose my fork lock because I'm getting an inch more pullback on this whole setup. So we're gonna pop this off. So I had an interesting issue mating the uh, pullback plate to the OG risers. So what I ended up doing was grabbing some polyurethane bushings and the center aluminum spacer that I had laying around, cut them down to size, uh, put a drop of soap on them, and uh, basically just hand press them in and voila. There it is guys, we installed the Krauss T-Rex pullback plate which gives us a two and a half inch pullback. I've got the OG eight and a half inch uh, risers with an inch and a half pullback. I set everything up as is again. So let's have a look at my riding position. Before I was having to do one of two things. I was either leaning forward a little bit or I would scooch my ass off the back of the seat about an inch and a half. 
So I'm hoping this brought the controls back to me and my back is straight. So let's have a look. I think that's exactly what I was looking for. One thing I'm noticing too on my first initial setup, I bought six and a half inch OG risers and the biggest thing that I wanted is I didn't want to lose sight of my GPS, uh, which to me at the time seemed really important. Uh, so I went with six and a half inch risers and I think that's what was, I think that was part of the cause as well. Um, so my hands were lower and they're also forward. So this was my riding position before roughly. So now with this new setup, I'm only losing the bottom quarter inch of the screen. I really thought I'd be losing more. Um, had I been still using the uh, Raptor plate, which I was using originally, I think I'd be losing more of that screen. But uh, with everything set up as is, this is perfect. I'm not losing any sight of the GPS. My hands are at the height that I really wanted originally. And I feel like my back's pretty straight, so fuck yeah.